Hey guys, in this video we are going to take a close up look at the HP Z4 G4 workstation. Now specifically we are going to look at the Xeon based version of the workstation. We're also going to show you how to install an RTX 3060 Ti graphics card into the workstation. And then at the end of the video we're going to run through some popular game titles to see how well it performs. And as always we'll be posting a link to our HP Z4 G4 hardware upgrade guide in the description of this video. This is the front of our HP Z4 G4 workstation. It features a power button, four USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, and a headset audio port. This is the back of the HP Z4 G4 workstation. It features audio ports, six USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, PS2 ports for a mouse and keyboard, and two gigabit ethernet ports. We are going to remove the side panel to take a look inside the chassis. We want to emphasize that this system has the 750 watt power supply option installed, which will work perfectly with the RTX 3060 Ti graphics card that we are going to install later in this video. This system has two 6-pin GPU power rails that we are going to use to provide power to our graphics card. The system also has a stock front I.O. cooling fan to provide airflow over the NVMe solid state drive and cards in our PCI Express slots. These are the PCI Express slots that are included on the Xeon version of the Z4 G4 system board. There are two PCI Express Gen 3 X16 ports, two X4 ports, and one X8 port. This is a single socket CPU system that supports the Xeon W2100 or W2200 series processors. It also has eight memory slots and supports up to 512 gig of DDR4 ECC registered memory. Now we are going to quickly unbox our new RTX 3060 Ti graphics card to get it ready for our install. To install the graphics card, we had to put the system on its side and open up the PCI bracket lock. We can then remove one more of the PCI blanks to create room to install our graphics card. We'll install the card into the top PCIe Gen 3 X16 slot. Then we can put the PCI bracket lock back in place to hold the card securely. Now we are ready to connect the power rails to our graphics card. We are going to use the dual six pin female to eight pin male GPU power adapter to connect to the power adapter that came with the graphics card. Next, we'll put our side panel back on and take a quick peek at what our graphics card looks like from the back of the chassis. Now we are going to boot into the BIOS and show you the specs we are working with and poke around a little bit. As you can see, this system has a Xeon W2123 quad core processor installed. The processor has a base frequency of 3.6 gigahertz and a max frequency of 3.9 gigahertz. And we also have 32 gig of memory installed and our boot device is a one terabyte NVMe M.2 solid state drive. We currently have Windows 10 Pro 64-bit installed on the system, however it supports Windows 11 as well. If you have any specific questions about the BIOS features, feel free to ask them in the comments and we'll do our best to try and answer them. Now we are ready to run through some popular game titles to see how well the system performs. Our game testing will be done with high settings, a 1920 by 1080 resolution, and a 240 hertz refresh rate.
If you are currently using a HP Z4 G4 workstation for gaming, please comment below and let us know your specs and what games you play on it. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching.